to share my thrift store haul with you. I was hoping that I would be able to skate away and go to another thrift store in my area that I've been meaning to go to for well over a year, but it's like in a part of town that I never go near, so I have to make a specific trip for that. I make specific trips to go, it doesn't matter. I haven't made it there. I really want to, maybe one day, but not today. But I am gonna show you everything that I got from the Goodwill. Um, I went to two separate Goodwills. You guys know I was on a mission for Christmas sweaters and boy, did they not disappoint. They pulled through. I got a lot of Christmas sweaters. I also got a lot of clothes that hopefully will fit me postpartum. I haven't tried any of this on, but I will today. So the main question is, what am I gonna jam out to while I'm trying these clothes on for you guys? It is yet to be determined. I'm excited to find out. But first I'm going to share with you uh, the boring stuff, the non-clothing items, which is few and far between. But speaking of Thanksgiving, <laughs> is Thanksgiving today? I don't know. I don't know when I'm posting this. Um, I, oh my gosh, this is chipped. Oh, well, kick me in the neck. Man, what a shame. I didn't see that. I'm still going to use it. I don't care. It's like on the outside of it. No one's going to know. They're not going to know. I have been to Home Goods and TJ Maxx the past couple of days on the hunt for some dishes for Thanksgiving. Some serving dishes, some nice casserole dishes. Exhibit A here. And wouldn't you know it, I found one at the Goodwill. This was $4.98. And it's just like an oval with a couple handles. It's got a little character to it, and that's what I like. Also the price, can't beat it. I actually did find a dish, I shared on Instagram, I share a lot on Instagram, that I bought from Home Goods. came home, lifted the bag up to put it on the counter, and it hit my counter and chipped the bowl. It was like a, a lifted bowl, I don't know how to explain it. It had a foot on it, and it was pretty, also a pretty penny, but I thought, oh, it's Thanksgiving, you know? But then I came home and freaking broke it, so what good is it to me now? I'm gonna try to fix it, fingers crossed. I also grabbed this basket. I don't know how much they charge me for it. There's no sticker. I wanna say $3, $2.98 or something like that. I don't have the receipt. I mean, I'm sure it might be in here somewhere, but don't ask me to dig for it, because I'm not going to. I just thought this is a nice, like, storage basket. I'm always on the hunt for baskets for linen closets, for the girls' things, closets and organizing and corralling and all that good stuff. Also, have you ever been to the container store? I suggest you stay away because that place is so expensive. So if you need some like organizing baskets and stuff, check out the Goodwill. Also, if you're planning on hosting Thanksgiving and you need some really fancy uh, table decor, Check out your local Goodwill. I just spit, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, wait, it does have a sticker on it. Forever, I thought this was handmade because it's like a paper mache turkey. I mean, they definitely didn't mass produce this thing, but the sticker on the bottom leads me to believe otherwise. I spent $10 on this turkey. Don't ask me why. I just couldn't leave him behind. I needed a turkey for my table and I recently shared with you guys that I found this really like gold one that I assume is solid gold and because that's how much it costs. It's like over a hundred dollars for this turkey. Well, I measured it. Well, I didn't measure it because I don't have it, but I, the measurements that I had online, I used a ruler, a tape measure and figured out that it's like this dang big. And I was like, mm, pass on that. I thought it was gonna be like this big for $200. It may have been 100, maybe 150. Let's find a middle ground. Anyway, 10 bucks, <laughs> I'll take the paper mache one because it will probably uh, not last forever in my home anyway because of the way we treat things. This is why we can't have nice things. Did anyone get tickets to the T-Swift concert? I didn't. Mostly because I didn't go online and reserve them, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> I heard that a lot of people are having trouble with them. Uh, okay, there's that. It sold out in like, what, five seconds or something? Anyway, I'm really excited about this turkey. I hope it lasts a lifetime in my family. And I think it's gonna be a conversation piece for Thanksgiving. This year, I saw on Instagram where you set the tables up because we have like those six foot tables because we have a ton of people coming. So we eat outside, it's normally gorgeous. It's Florida, it's not too cold, not too hot, hopefully. 
Um, and then also we'll have inside whatever if we need to come inside. But we have those six foot white tables and normally, well, not normally, last year we put them in a line. So like if I wanted to talk to the person way down there, good luck, I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna have to get up out of my seat and walk to them and who wants to do that? So I saw, <laughs> groundbreaking where you can put it in a square so we're gonna do that we lose um some seats in the middle there but i'm sure we'll figure it out it'll be nice to like see everyone i don't know maybe it'll happen maybe it won't okay 20 minutes in i showed you one single item i also found a couple of hats so this was seven dollars which is absolutely ridiculous but we are um putting on the ritz here i like to make a sand man we have like a sand pile like out back for the kids to play on they love it but we needed a hat for mr snowman sandman and then we found this at the goodwill so festive so fun i had really high hopes for this i thought it was going to be amazing there is a button that leads me to believe that at one moment in time he was able to dance and sing uh that moment has passed because i changed the batteries out i did what i could to make it work and it doesn't work he still swivels manually but that's not very fun, you know? I'm gonna keep working on him, but I have low expectations. Also found a Santa hat for $1.18, cheaper than the Dollar Tree these days, you know? So I picked it up. You can always use extra Santa hats around the house during the holiday season. The holiday season. I am going to be real honest with you guys. I forgot every single thing that I bought, except for one thing. I found a Lululemon. Lululemon. I, I think I found two things from Lululemon and I couldn't believe it. That's the only thing I remember buying. So this will be fun. <laughs> oh, then of course the, uh, the Christmas sweaters. Oh, and I also got this blue basket. We'll get there, but, um, I'm just going to use it because it's corralling all of my things right now. Also found some socks. How much were these pieces of crap? $6 for some socks, always needing socks around the house. This will probably fit Wentworth and no one else. Okay, should I separate the clothing from most exciting to least exciting? Like, do you wanna see all the Christmas stuff first and then the normal stuff? What's this? As a matter of fact, this ma oh, that's an American flag. I was gonna say, it matches something I just bought for Wolfgang, but anyway. Well, I'll show you this since I have it in my hands. It is a two-piece set. Oh, by the way, I didn't try any of these things on before I bought them because I baby wear. And uh, so baby wearing for the loss there. This two piece set has a little off the shoulder number as, as the top. I hope these are high waisted enough to not show any skin, if any at all, slash are these going to fit around my birthing hips? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't think these are gonna fit me, these bottoms. Well, we'll see. They might be a little snug. Maybe I'll wear them I, in a year from now, a year and a half. <laughs> Maybe next fall. This beautiful mustard color is perfect for next fall, 2023. Can you believe it's almost the new year? Unbelievable. Okay, I also found this like loungy, oh, it's from Zara. Is that an expensive brand or not expensive brand? I don't remember. Uh, I like the color. It looked like a nice around the house dress. It feels really comfortable. It's like a linen material. Let me see what this is made of. It's made in Morocco. Oh my gosh, they cut it. They cut the tag, it probably bothered them. So I don't know what material it is, but it feels really comfortable. It also cinches at the waist, it's got a little belt here. And I like it that it's built in, so that means I'm not gonna lose it. And I just thought this looked really comfortable, accessible for breastfeeding, and that's really all I need in my life right now. Comfort and accessibility. <gasps> oh my gosh, did I get this for me? Oh my gosh, did I get this for my daughter? How small is this? What was I thinking? So many questions. So little answers. Oh wait, it's an extra large. These must be shorts then. What, like look at that. I'm looking at this, the crotch, and then the leg span, and that is just not a pant right there. They're not even gauchos, but I mean, if you can see the texture of this, this is from Old Navy originally. If you can see the texture of this, I, now I hope it fits. I hope it looks fantastical. It's like a blue velvet, like a suede. Did you guys watch the Elvis movie? My, uh, he, I don't even think he sang the song Blue Suede Shoes. Horrible. Who wrote that movie is all I'm saying. I mean, it was, a, it was a decent movie. Wasn't what I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting just an Elvis concert. I'm not really sure. But... 
I really do like this. The blue suede shoes jumper set here. Maybe I can wear my blue suede uh, Cole Haan boots. I, I would be, they would look terrible with this, but I hope that fits. I've got high hopes for it. Hashtag kind of feel like it's not going to fit. Hashtag stop saying hashtag. Okay, did I buy these for me? What person was I when I was thrifting? Why didn't you guys talk me out of some of this stuff? What the heck is this? A small, please, am I dreaming? Ooh, Fruit of the Loom. What did I pay for these? Oh, four bucks. I feel like Fruit of the Loom. Uh, do they have pockets? Okay, pockets. Now we're getting somewhere, now we're getting somewhere. I hope these fit around my waist and rump. That's really all I can hope for. And then I do enjoy this. They kind of remind me of the sweatpants. I have a very vivid memory of when I was a child. The perfect crisp fall day. Came home from school, tried out for basketball team that day. Uh, sad to report, I did not make the team. Have you seen me? I'm like gangly. No skill. Uh, especially when it comes to sports with balls. I don't think I made a single basket, but I did my best and I tried. Didn't, I was like sixth grade. It was not a great day for me, but when I got home, it was chilly and I grew out of all my sweats, so mom brought me to the store to buy some Fruit of the Loom sweatpants. And this is what it reminds me of. Uh, fond, fond memories. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh I'm, I'm so glad that I got this. Do you guys have like very vivid memories of specific times in your life that it doesn't make sense? Like, why do I remember that specific time and day and moment? Also, did you know that when you remember things, or so I've read, when you remember things, your brain remembers the last time that you remembered it, like the last time you thought about it, not the initial time when it happened. It just goes back to the last time that you remember it. So next time you try to remember something, try to remember it in as many details as possible. So the next time you remember it, you remember it. Does that make sense? It doesn't. <laughs> okay, this is originally from Target. It is. It was $4 at the Goodwill. What is it? It's a robe, yes. It's robe season. I'm not big on robes, but I'm finding that I kind of am. Uh, mostly not huge on them because I don't really have, I, I, I have, what am I trying to say? I have really bulky robes that just make me hot. And then also robes that when I get out of the shower, they don't dry me off. I feel like they just keep the moisture on my skin, which might be good, I don't know. But in the mornings when it's like a little chill in the air and I need to throw something on, I have one, but it's not long enough to like cover everything, you know? And it's just like just my kids, so who cares? But anyway, I found this one. I need to put deodorant on. Someone took my deodorant out of my drawer and I've yet to find it. So there's a little TMI for you. Anyway, I found this robe. It looks nice. It feels nice. It's semi lightweight. It's like the perfect, I hate a long sleeved. I hate a flowy sleeve that's getting in the pancake batter. And this just seems to fit the bill and check all the marks that I'm looking for. Mostly the untouchable uh, tie. Because listen, if, it, if that thing can come off, it will and I will lose it forever and then I won't be able to close it when I have that problem with many robes. Okay, moving on to, the heck is this? Sophia, uh, found some Sophia pants. They were $3.98. Ooh, I like a good jogger. They look like a nice little jogger. Maybe these will fit me? I feel like out of everything, these are the most likely to fit. Not sure how I feel about these uh, zippers. They kind of remind me of like Michael Jackson or something. Not really sure why, but I can dig it. I like the color. Yeah, I like this. I feel like I can uh, uh, wear this. <laughs> okay, moving on. Ooh, <gasps> ah, a jumper. Not only is it bright red, I think I'm allergic to my shampoo or something or whatever I used. It's really drying out my scalp. I keep itching it. Okay, oh, this is from Forever 21. Wow, I remember when that store first opened, it was $5. Uh, when it, that's where first opened, they sold things that were $5. That's why everyone loved it. And they had models in the window that were like real people posing with the clothes on, you know, and that's, this is my model. This is my model face. <laughs> I am the worst. Anyway, that was, that's a very fond memory too. Mm, my mom brought me to the store, back to school shopping. And there it was forever 21. And meanwhile, I'm like <laughs> 14 years old. Yeah. 
Anyway, found this jumper. It looks beautiful. I love a good red color. Love a good jumper. Not sure if this is gonna fit me either. I don't know why I keep showing you like the leg and the curl. I'm just trying to, hopefully I'm doing a better job over there, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I hope this fits and I uh, hope I wear it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what else did I waste my money on? This was a green tag, so I feel like green tag was half off or was it orange? that half off? Some of this stuff was half off, I don't remember what. I'm gonna go, maybe go back and watch the shop with me to figure out which one. Five dollars for these as well, maybe 250, and they just look like a nice loungy pants, not pants, they're shorts, but definitely loungy, more Golden Girls style than anything else. And I, you know, that's my style, uh, bonus points. It has pockets, not sure what you'll be able to fit in here, maybe a dime, maybe a rolled up, one dollar bill because who has 20s these days <laughs> you know what i mean okay sports bra i don't think this is gonna fit me but i couldn't leave it behind because it's lululemon <laughs> check it lululemon i should be a reseller reseller is that what they call themselves anyway this is a size six and i just feel like in what universe I mean, maybe it'll fit me with a size six. I don't know. There's a lot of milk in there. Okay, this is the other Lululemon thing that I got. Some of you may be real annoyed at the fact that I'm calling it Lululemon. Ask me if I care and the answer is no. Got these for $5. I hope these fit. Um, I'm trying to look for more details on this. I know these are like, or they were trendy in the um, athleisure world. I don't think they still are. I don't really care because I don't care if I'm trendy or not. But I like to, well, I don't know if I like to work out in shorts. I have workout shorts. I like to run and work out. I'll see if these are comfortable. I hope that they are. Um, slash, I don't know if they're going to fit. Okay. Moving on. Rolling along here. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. I should have tried this on in the store. It's a dang jacket. I actually, this was the most expensive thing that I bought. Why didn't you talk me out of it? It's not even that cute. What were you thinking? Next time be a better friend. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Actually, it, it does look really nice. I don't know about the color on me. I feel like with my skin tone, it just kind of washes me out. I don't, I kind of feel like my, an aunt. I feel like an aunt in this. Not that I've even put it on yet. I don't think it fits. I might as well just, why not, right? Oh boy, did I make a mistake here. Hey, a cool rider. I feel like Michelle Pfeiffer in this, but not as cool. I feel like I want to be Michelle Pfeiffer and this is just not fitting the bill. All right, moving on to some bigger and better things. Oh my gosh, should I buy another romper? No, this is a dress. Thank goodness, I don't know what was getting into me with the rompers. Okay, $6 for this one. Not sure where it's originally from. Maybe handmade, there's no tag in it. It's, it's not handmade. I like the tears. I like that it was pr most likely flattering. Be um, Also accessible, okay, for breastfeeding. And it tied at the waist, cinches at the waist. It enhances the smallest part of your body. Oh my gosh, did any of you ever watch, what was that show called? What not to wear. How many of you learned a million things from that show but implement none of them? <laughs> Me. There, I remember her talking about like a finishing piece, like always having a jacket or cardigan. Maybe that's why I have so many cardigans. I never wear them, it's just way too hot. It's not, it's impractical for my life living here in Florida, 90 degree weather. Um, but I do feel like an outfit always looks more put together when you layer on that finishing piece. Anyway, that's where I learned about enhancing this area. I don't know, I feel like sometimes it could kind of blow up in your face. But anything that's flowy these days is for me, so I, I don't know how this is gonna look, but hopefully it looks okay. Oh my gosh, was I into green or what? Found these shorts, and actually these are fantastic. We have a cold front coming in, so I can't imagine I'm gonna wear these anytime soon, but next week uh, I'm gonna be all over it. These are from American Eagle. Okay, and I got them for $5, $4.98. I don't, are these too short on me? <laughs> I feel like I got a decent size, maybe. I don't know, how high-waisted are these? My butt cheeks hanging out? Don't tell me, okay, I'm afraid to try them on. 
Oh, ooh, finally, <laughs> I feel at home with these. Some bike shorts. The bike shorts that I love, by the way, these have pockets, fantastic, thank you so much. The bike shorts that I love and wear all the time, I got from Target. They probably have five inches, like a five inch inseam, maybe seven. What? But this is like a three inch right there. <laughs> I really love showing you this angle. Um, oh, these are Reebok. Wow. I don't know if these are going to fit me too, but, uh, oh, these are a size small. <laughs> They're definitely going to keep everything sucked in if they do fit me. Also scored on these. These are Brooks. Yeah, Brooks, a great brand. I once had Brooks running shoes. I know everyone raves about them. I don't think I had the right... Um, style for my foot type. I don't know. They didn't work out for me. They actually made my knee hurt really bad. And so I went back to Nike. Good old Nikes. All right, moving on. But Brooks is a fantastic brand and I found these running shorts and I thought, well, I can't skimp on those. So I'm doing it. Put them on. Hopefully they fit me. I feel like they will. I really like the color too. Okay. And moving on to some brand new Liz Claiborne shorts. And I just thought these were so sweet. If out of all of the shorts that I got, I think these have the most potential to like fit me and look good. They have a nice longer um, inseam. Maybe they don't, they're, they are kind of short. They de they're definitely more of a high rise and that's what I like. So new with tags, I mean, can we get over this? They are classic short Liz Claiborne, normally $37. Someone probably got them from the outlet store or something. Uh, I got them for $7, which I feel like is still a steal for a pair of shorts, if they fit. Also, one of the last things that I got from my normal, oh no, there's plenty more, there's plenty more. Um, I tried this sweater on yesterday morning. I'm trying to get ready for family photos and like find an outfit for myself. Spoiler alert, uh, we had family photos. Well, for me, it's tomorrow. For you, it's last weekend. Who the heck knows? Follow me on Instagram if you want to know more. But we had family photos. <laughs> I went to the Max to find a dress to match the rest of my family. And I think I did it. I don't know. I've yet to try them on. But anyway, initially I thought, oh, I'll just wear a white sweater, tuck it into like a brown skirt or something. Nothing fits me, you guys. No I have a closet full of clothes that don't fit right now. Maybe eventually they will fit again, but right now they don't. I'm in that weird, awkward stage of postpartum. Maybe a year from now, we'll have a closet declutter. Maybe six months. I don't know. Yet to be determined, but for now, I don't want to go through the clothes too early and get rid of stuff that I know might fit me that I like. Anyway, I got a sweater, and I thought that was really cute. It's like a waffle knit kind of thing. You know, I like it. It's like breathable, but still holds in some heat. All right, moving on. I grabbed these shorts, Avia. Oh my gosh, these are size small too. What was I thinking? Not looking at sizes. $5. I was looking at them thinking, I think, I think those might fit me. They seem relaxed and stuff. Watch, I'm like trying them on. They don't even fit over my ankle. Uh, all right, well, there's that. I really like the color of these and... Yeah. Moving on to the fun stuff now. Is it the fun stuff though? Ugh. Oh my gosh, should I rip it? Oh no. Oh my gosh. It's... Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. All right. First and foremost, got this basket. It was $6, but I feel like this is a really nice basket. My plan is to just keep it up here. I don't really know for what. Maybe in the bathroom, maybe in that room. Just if there's stuff that we need to clean right away, we could just shove it. Just put it in the basket. You know, that kind of thing. So maybe downstairs, who the heck knows? So I also found this set and Stars Above. I don't know what store sells Stars Above. I want to say Target, but it's just a pajama set. And I'm finding that I'm really enjoying having matching pajamas, even though most of the time I don't wear the matching pieces together. It's fine. I'll get there. Right now my life is not put together, but maybe tomorrow, okay, check in on me. But I found this matching set, it's yellow, it's bright and cheery. It's actually like a dull yellow, but we'll get over that. It looks cute, it's got a little pocket up here. What am I gonna put in there? Nothing, nothing, that's the answer. Okay, so now we get into the really cool stuff. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. Got this for, I wanna say Eleanor, maybe Avelina. It is a medium and this is originally from American Eagle. I paid $4 from the Goodwill 
and it just has a little it's just a little winter sweater right there now the rest oh okay one more thing actually i'm just going to show you the christmas stuff that i got oh i got paint what is this who is this for 10 to 12 this is for avelina christmas pjs with donuts who doesn't love donuts what does it say donut wake donut wake till christmas oh that's amazing what does it say up here probably the same thing donut wake till christmas okay classic i've never heard that before i've heard a lot of other things all right got some pjs for her what did i spend on these well, guys if you're looking for christmas stuff you go to the goodwill five dollars don't know how much stuff they have left S want to go still i bet they're still putting out stuff okay where should we begin with the christmas extravaganza you guys know i love vintage christmas vests sweaters and all that good stuff i actually used to have like way before ugly christmas sweater was like cool or trendy i used to have um a section of my closet that was like this vintage christmas sweaters and then I don't know what happened. I thought I had to be a certain type of lady and I was like, I'm too old for, to wear stuff like this and be dumb, you know? And so I got rid of them. What a shame, what a shame, man. But you know what? I hope someone else found them and still has them and loves them as much as I did because, you know, I just, I was going through an identity crisis kind of still am <laughs> i kind of feel like i go through one every time i'm postpartum okay this is one of my favorites it has cats on it who doesn't love cats oh my gosh the back says cats <laughs> i didn't realize that until just this very moment this is from sweater loft i paid six dollars for it does that say dry clean only okay i'm sorry <laughs> that's not gonna happen <laughs> i'll just not clean it how about that it's a vest so it's like does it really need to be cleaned okay this is the front of it. the answer is no it doesn't need to be cleaned. uh unless your baby spits up on it and then just use some water right okay this is the front of it i just love cats i love christmas it's all my favorite things in one vest and i thought this was fantastic this is another one that i love did i get all vests or any of them sweaters I, okay got a sweater check I also feel like I put a lot of back and now that I'm looking like, oh, I only got this many. <laughs> I should have got more, but I have to remember I already have some. Okay, this was $4. Oh my gosh, the back is darling. This is like gingerbread. Uh, where are we going today? Got to throw on my Christmas vest. Yes, please. Love this. I love it so unironically. It's ridiculous. Like, look at this. I had some hot cocoa for the first time this season last night and it honestly wasn't the best but <laughs> we'll, we'll work on it, we'll get there. But I love the details, I just think it's so darling. And then the back has the gingerbread lady. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. This is from Designer Originals Studio Joy. So this is definitely vintage, it's a petite extra large. Love that, I don't even look at the um, sizes, I just look at what it is and I think, you know what, I'll make it work, whatever size, it's a vest, you know? Okay. Moving on to this one, this is from Carolyn Taylor. It's Caroline. Brian, does anyone get that reference? Okay, $6 for this one. Another vest, another Christmas vest. And I feel like the beading on this one is just so extraordinary and I couldn't pass it up. I almost left this one there and then I thought, I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to have it. So I brought it home with me. Okay, I actually found this one. Oh, this is not a sweater thing. I thought it was. Okay, I found this one at the checkout. Almost didn't get this one as well. $6 because I thought, oh, I have so many. But now I'm looking and I'm like, why didn't I buy more? Okay, this one is darling. I might just put it on for you right here. What got me was this Christmas tree down here. Just the details. I want to be able to crochet something like this. My niece actually crocheted one of her friends a halloween sweater i'm so jealous i'm so jealous she was like my hands are <laughs> bleeding but uh totally worth it anyway it had it was black and white and had ghosts on it i was like you need to make me a christmas sweater okay because have we met so maybe in a year she'll gift me <laughs> a christmas sweater i know listen making stuff like this takes a lot of time care love and attention and all that good stuff unless it's mass produced like this this one just reminded me of like a quilt, but in sweater form, and that's basically my life. So I was really happy to find this one, 
And then I think that's it for the Christmas sweaters. I do have another Christmas item, but I found this vest and I just thought, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I can't leave it behind. It does feel vintage to me. It is a petite, the brand is Erica Petites and it's five, it was $5 from the Goodwill. And I just thought it was darling. I almost didn't buy it because I thought, am I gonna wear it? And then I was looking back at my shop with me video where there was another vest that looking back, I was like, that, I, why didn't I get that one too? Like how many vests do I need? The answer is zero because how often do I wear vests? Never. <laughs> so I have a problem, clearly. Okay, and then I found this. This was one of the first things I found, first things that popped up at me. Oh my gosh, brand new with tags. <gasps> it's from Forever 21. Oh my gosh, am I supposed to put my face here? That's hilarious. Clearly this is a Christmas tree and I could not leave this behind. Now I'm wondering, is this even gonna fit me? Like this is where my face is supposed to go? Oh boy, we're gonna have problems here. Uh, does it say size 9, 10? All right, I feel like, oh, it's girls. Oh my gosh, I don't care. I'll give it to my daughter. She will happily wear this. Both of them would. They love being crazy. And I wonder where they get it from, really. It's in both Alex and I, so they just had no hope. <laughs> anyway, I, I was happy to find this. And you know what? I am gonna try to shove it over my body and no one can stop me. I feel like you could make this easily with just some felt, some big red poofy balls, but you know that meme, it's like, why buy it for $6 when I can make it with materials that cost me $95? And how many times have you done that in your life? Has that ever happened to you? Happens to me all the time. Yeah, $6. You couldn't buy the, the whatever this is called, garland for, do you put garland on your tree? We don't, maybe we should. I haven't even decorated for Christmas yet. I need to get on, I need to get on that. Okay, I'm gonna do that this weekend. I'm gonna do it soon. I don't know if it'll happen this weekend, but it'll be soon. Okay, a couple more things that I got. That was all the Christmas related stuff. Okay, this, oh, I hate, I think one of the two piece sets I bought, the yellow one, I don't know, one of them was one price for all of it. Was the yellow one? And now that I'm thinking back, I don't think it was. This was not. Separate prices for each one, which I kind of get it. Was orange tag on sale? I don't think so. $5 for the top, $5 for the bottom. I just felt like, how can I live in Florida and not get this? You know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of scrubs though, but also pretty groovy, pretty comfy, pretty golden girls winter. <laughs> it's definitely not a winter piece, but Miami winter, come on. Something about this was calling my name and you know how much regret costs? More than $5, so I grabbed it and that's what I, <laughs> it's actually what I kept telling myself or asking myself with the Christmas sweaters because I kept putting them back and I was like, you don't need this many, so I actually put a lot back that I liked and wanted. I was like, save some for the others, you know? And um, some of them, especially the one I found at the checkout, I thought, Regret costs more than six dollars. <laughs> so I kept, I, I, that was my way of saying get it. Because there are so, so many things that I have left when I have found them at the Goodwill and I regret leaving them. Like some amazing pieces that I think about all the time, probably more than the things that I bought, right? The regret hurts more than spending six dollars. <laughs> But does it? I don't know. I've got a closet full of stuff. I definitely don't need everything, right? Okay, $5 for these. Hoping that these fit as well. These might be a little big, but we'll see. Um, these are just red pants, like red capri. Hope I don't know how far down the leg that they go. Oh, definitely capri. They're not like a cropped pant. They're definitely capris. I hope that these fit. Hopefully they do. I don't know what else to say. They, I like that they were rolled, ready to go. What brand is this? Westbound, they're cotton and spandex. And that's what I like out of a pant, spandex. The closest thing that you can get to a legging, count me in. And then I found a, this little number and this is God bless America. Oh, you know what? We were watching the football game the other day that was in Germany and um, the Bucks were playing, who did they play? The Falcons? No, they played someone. 
We were watching an old Super Bowl too the other day and sh oh my gosh, it was shocking. 2017 Super Bowl, go back and watch it. Holy, you're the, maybe just watch the last quarter and you're gonna be like shocked and amazed in all the whole time. Okay, anyway, we were watching the football game in Germany. So they played the American national anthem. You know, everyone's sitting there like, oh, second. You know what my favorite national anthem is? The, the one that Fergie sang? What was it, for a basketball game or something? That one is the ultimate, it's the best. I play it every morning, I wake up to it. Anyway, and then afterward, they played the um, national anthem for Germany and the crowd was singing it. I feel like we don't really sing along with ours. I don't know, I just thought it was like fun that everyone was singing it and also Alex and I were thinking how many people in the stands know and understand the national anthem for America because I assume they're mostly European. I can't think of one American, well, unless they are German, that know the German national anthem, you know what I mean? It's just, oh, crazy times, crazy times. We should really uh, expand that, right? When we lived in Europe, so many people know English, and I know it's like the business language, so they learn it and stuff, but I think the, the main language that we learn, that my kids are learning anyway, aside from like learning on their own, because Avelina does the, um, Oh, what's that app on your phone called? I'm getting way off topic, but what's that app on your phone called? Duolingo. Avelina does German, Alex does Spanish, Eleanor does Spanish, um, but in school they learn Spanish from pre-K three. So th they know that language more than any other, but I still don't even think they know the national anthem for Spain. Anyway, that was a long-winded way of saying, I got, love my country, I got a, uh, a sweater vest for 4th of July or just any other day of the week. Any regular Tuesday, I can plop this on and show how much uh, patriotism I have. Hey, all right. Anyway, I got that. I think that is everything that I got. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I got. If you want to, stick around, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. My legs hurt.